This is Gospel Music Today. We are at the National Quartet Convention, and with me is the, the dad of one of the great uh, family groups in Southern Gospel Music. This is Dion Unthank, and uh, Dion, welcome to Gospel Music Today. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure to be here. I want to ask you a little bit about the group, but first of all, I know that there's a connection between you guys and some other good friends of ours, uh, the Lesters. Yeah. Tell me about that. Well, uh, I was born and raised in the St. Louis area, so I was a Lester fan for a long time. And uh, back a few years, more than I care to talk about, uh, Brian Lester went to be with Jerry and the Goffs for a while, and I was fortunate enough to fill in for him, sang with them for about three to six months, something like that. So. That's, that's my call to fame right there. <laughs> They're great people, and uh, they that's, are. That's, that's, a, that's a great story. Now, tell me the lineup of Sunday edition. Um, well, we started back in 1972, which was before Amy and Chris were even <laughs> thought about. But uh, We started off as a male quartet, and uh, we came here to the National Quartet Convention, as a matter of fact, six months after we were formed and won the talent contest. So that was exciting. Yeah. And, uh, and six months after that, uh, my tenor singer went to Bible school, my baritone became a missionary, and my bass singer became a minister of music. So it was just me. So uh, we did uh, a little bit after that with my sister and my cousin, but uh, they ended up getting married. So things kind of went on the shelf for a while. And, uh, Finally, one day, uh, my mother-in-law called and told my wife, she said, you got to listen to this. And she had taped Amy and Chris singing. And it was actually pretty good, and at least their grandmother thought, you know. <laughs> so uh, we got thinking maybe it was worth a shot, and we put together a family group. Uh, went by the Unthanks, because that's our last name for a long time. And uh, everybody said, well, what kind of a name is that for a gospel group? You know, the Unthanks. So, we decided when Chris finally got out of college, we would change the name back uh, to the Sunday edition, and that's where we're at now. And of course, this lineup now is my youngest son and daughter, uh, Chris, my youngest son, and Amy, my youngest daughter. And I'm only 29, so we started that pretty early. You know? Well, you did a good job. Tell me about, uh, I know you have a new CD out. Uh, well, we're working on a new CD, okay. and we have a new single out. Our single is just phenomenal. Glenn Bates and Glenn Ashworth wrote it. Uh, Glenn Bates is the wife of, of Becky Simmons of BSA. And uh, very, you know, the gospel is a simple message. And this song is a very simple message. It says, he bore a cross he didn't have to bear. And it just, it's touching people everywhere because he bore our cross. We should have been the one who did it. And Jesus bore it for us. It was it's just touching people all over. Debuted at number 44 on the chart, so we're real th thrilled about that. Yeah, and then we're, we're in the studio now uh, putting together a, a hymns and praise album. And uh, once again, I'm just amazed that we have the tracks done, so we're practicing on the people as we go. Uh, it's just piano, and we sing those old hymns, and people just worship, and it's just amazing. that The songs that last, that's why they're hymns, you know and uh, we're just having a good time doing it. Now, one of the uh, websites that we check all the time to keep up on what's going on in Southern Gospel music is uh, SoGospelNews.com, uh -huh. and you're the, uh, you're the the boss of that, too. Uh, well, actually, <laughs> I get to say I'm the boss, but my wife runs everything, okay. so. Uh, you, know, you have a wife, you know how that goes. Well, <laughs> we won't get into that. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we, we run SoGospelNews.com, and we get over 11 million hits a month, and so it's it's going really good. It's a news source for Southern Gospel Music. Right. Yeah. So we have CD reviews and articles, and of course, uh, anytime anything happens, we have a, a news lineup uh, of what's happening in Southern Gospel. Yeah. It's a great website. I mean, everything is there. It's easy to use. Uh, it's Thank up to date. Much. So you really do a nice job. I even write article once in a while. So. <laughs> <laughs> we uh, we listen to XM radio frequently when we're traveling, and it's always uh, a thrill to see Sunday Edition come up on the uh, name. You guys get played a lot. Oh, well, thank you. I don't have XM, but I should get it, I guess, if they're going to play me. <laughs> yeah, you do. You're on there quite frequently. 
What's the uh, Sunday Edition website? It's www.sundayedition.net. And it's edition like a newspaper. Well, Dion, thank you very much for uh, talking to us on Gospel Music today. Well, it's been fun, and, and NQC's been great here, so we've had a great time. That's right. There's more coming up on Gospel Music today.